How's it going there, Central New York? I'm Storm Team Meteorologist John DePasquale. Hope everybody had an awesome start to the weekend. It was warm, it was muggier, but not as hot as it's been the last couple of days with no 90s today. Uh, upper 70s, low 80s out there now with a lot of clouds. Temperatures are going to be cooling, uh, not a whole lot tonight, honestly. It's going to be like mid to upper 60s for lows, yeah. A balmy night and kind of muggy with a bit of a breeze, too. A couple of showers, a few sprinkles on Onondaga Hill, a little uh, light to moderate shower at Tisco there, Spafford, a little shower for you out toward Ledyard, and a few scattered showers across the Finger Lakes. Seneca Falls, Waterloo, Geneva, what's going on? A um, couple of showers around Canandaigua as well. These are dropping south and east, and they'll fall apart as we go through the evening hours as we lose daytime heating. This is a little bit of a prefrontal trough kicking through, causing these few scattered showers this evening. Again, in the wake of it, late evening, overnight, it's quiet. I don't expect a lot of rain to be around tonight. So if you have plans, go grab an ice cream cone, a Sunday, or go for a walk. Um, bonfire, backyard, whatever it may be, uh, go ahead with your plans. Just keep an eye on the radar, but for the most part, much of the night will be dry. Tomorrow, we start off dry in summary. See this cold front over the upper Great Lakes or nearing the upper Great Lakes? This will drop through midday, early afternoon. A few scattered showers with it, maybe a rumble of thunder. In the wake of it, it's breezy and turning cooler and less humid later tomorrow afternoon. And ah, refreshing. Tomorrow night into the start of our work and school week. Timecast shows, again, a few spotty showers around to start tonight. No big deal. As you roll through late this evening overnight tonight, mostly cloudy. Temperatures back off into the 60s for lows. A mild night with a bit of a breeze out of the west, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow we start off mild and muggy, 60s, low 70s. Clouds, little sun here and there, filtered some. Boost our temperatures up into the upper 70s, low 80s, midday. Uh, after, say, 10, 11 in the morning into the afternoon, a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder with that cold front in the wake of it. By the end of the afternoon, early evening, we're dropping into the upper 60s, low 70s with a cool breeze out of the north northwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour, maybe a little stronger than that at times. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, again, refreshing tomorrow night. I'd say if you got the AC running right now, you'll be able to give it a break for tomorrow night. How's that sound? Good stuff, right? Love the fresh air. Monday, we've got mid 70s for you, a mixture of sun and clouds, a real nice day, low humidity. And then the heat and humidity trying to make another run at us. So a few scattered showers and storms, 80s here Tuesday and Wednesday. A lot of dry time both days, but again, we probably have to dodge a few scattered afternoon showers and storms Tuesday. Uh, scattered showers and storms around here Wednesday, still a good amount of dry time and uh, warmer and muggier. And then cooler, much cooler and drier with some sun on Thursday, closer to 70. We remain close to 70 for the end of the week into the start of next weekend, which is Memorial Day weekend, with a chance of a couple of showers later Friday, but right now much of Friday looks dry. The start of Memorial Day weekend may be kind of damp and cool.